You know, when EDM artist Lexica invited me to her swimsuit shoot at the beach, I thought, man, this always happens to me. Just me. Rough life. Someone's got to do it. All the flesh and bone that my body holds Can't ignore the soul that is aching In a starstruck way, fell in a dream state And the history in the making with your six-figure mentor and my guest today is EDM artist Lexica. Welcome to the show. Hi. <laughs> I've been wanting to have you on for quite a while now. Uh, definitely admired and watched your career grow and recently you got uh, one of your singles became number two on the European charts, independent yep. charts, so mm -hmm. congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Nine <laughs> weeks strong. So excited. <laughs> well one of the things I wanted to ask you about, I know that Success never happens in a vacuum, that everyone needs a mentor. Um, what what do you attribute your success to? Who did you surround yourself with? Um, I'm talking about like the uh, law of association. So how did you get where you got? The law of association is so key. Uh, I basically picked the best of the best. I know if I surround myself with people that are better than me, the results are gonna be so great. So uh, I hired an incredible producer named Rusty Varenkamp, who is award-winning, he's been up for Grammys, he's won Dove Awards, I mean, he's amazing. And we really have great music chemistry. Um, everything that I've wanted to create, he gets, and, and vice versa, and so it works really well. And then um, my coach, vocally, on this album has been uh, Kim Wood Sandusky, mm -hmm. who is the same coach as uh, for Beyonce. Oh, wow. So I'm in That's good cool. company there. And then I have a social media team, Miles High Productions, and right now I'm adding a publicist to the mix. So it's, it's an amazing time. But the thing is, it would only be an amazing time if I associated myself with the right people who have been able to do so much more than I could have done by myself. That's cool. Um, well, one of the things I love about your music is uh, the, the content. Because uh, there's a lot of songs nowadays, I listen to a lot of EDM, a lot of it tends to be really negative. Like one of the hits right now is uh, FML, which is like <laughs> toxic. Uh, your, your content's definitely uh, cut from a different cloth. Can you tell us a little bit about where that comes from? Uh, you know, is that personal development? How does that, how did you get your inspiration? Well, I, I write. I write all my songs with Rusty, we write them together, and I have to write from a real place, a genuine place. Uh, so for me, I can't have that stuff in my head. I, I'm really careful about what I choose to listen to, what I choose to read, uh, because it's in your mind, and it can be negative, right? Yeah. And that can affect everything else. And so I wanted music that when people hear it, it takes them to a new place. Like it, it changes their state. There's something called state management, which is really important. And um, I wanted my music to be able to create that for some somebody, like if they have a bad day, for it to lift them up. I didn't want a bad day to be perpetuated by my music. I wanted it to be stopped by my music if I can in some small way encourage somebody or have them just feel good or feel great and and I write my lyrics in a way that everybody can kind of interpret them the way that they need to um, they are all from personal experiences of mine but uh, open enough so that people can create whatever they need to out of the song and mm. it, it really matter to them too mm. I mean that's that's my yeah. hope anyway that's awesome so success never happens overnight and um, it can be really discouraging. I know that uh, as an entrepreneur or as an artist, uh, that's something that everyone struggles with. How do you overcome that struggle or how do you, um, how do you get yourself to persevere? Well, for me, I mean, look, you always have to make plans and you always have to prepare and you always have to have goals and where do you want to be by this date and when does this launch and all of those things. Like that, that has to happen. But it's so easy that when you do that to get so consumed in the future and what it's supposed to look like that you lose hope in the moment because mm -hmm. things don't always happen on the time frame that you expect them to. So I have learned that to manage my state and, and stay positive and be in a great place that I have, to, I have to look at my life hour by hour, minute by minute. And so if I get all wrapped up in what it's supposed to look like by next week, I might not get 
the results I need mm -hmm. by next week. Yeah. So I can't get so consumed in the bird's eye picture that I lose sight of how to do today well. And if you do that, it can get really discouraging because all you're, you're looking at is what you have to create by this. But I know that if I do this very next hour to my best, I mean, I've been so busy with interviews and photo shoots and all kinds of things that are happening right now that if I look at all of it, I'll get overwhelmed and maybe, maybe discouraged sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, but if I look at, okay, how do I do this next hour to the best of my ability and how do I do then the next hour so that I can be in this moment, in this interview mm -hmm. with you mm -hmm. and be present and excited and know that I just want to do this well right now mm -hmm. and all the other stuff I can worry about later, it's all going to have its own time and its own place. Mm -hmm. But that helps me just stay really encouraged because then I'm looking hour by hour in these accomplishments and you get these little many victories all day long. <laughs> well, um, recently you've joined the Models for NALU um, campaign which with the Model Squad. So tell us a little bit about why and what you're excited about that. I am jacked about this. I'm so excited. <laughs> I think NALU is the most amazing, I, I just think it's brilliant. And so I, I had the privilege of going to India and working with victims of human trafficking a few years ago and uh, working with those women and being in India, it was just, it was a crazy experience. And to see children that have so much joy, so much to be excited about and they own, uh, I mean, I, I saw a kid who got dropped off at, um, at a place because the mom couldn't afford anything anymore and all he had, all he owned in his whole world was in a little paper bag and it's like but he had joy even though he was scared you know you know it was just it was crazy so I think that what Nalu is doing to be able to support kids staying in school is so amazing I mean they can change the trajectory of that child's entire life mm -hmm. just by a uniform so by buying a shirt buying a, 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 a hat which I love I love that hat so <laughs> um, uh, all of those things and being able to contribute and changing and influencing somebody else's life by doing that is awesome so awesome and so to be able to be a part of that even in a small way it's a privilege and an honor and i i think it's an amazing cause if you don't know about nalu you've got to get informed and promote it <laughs> <laughs> well um i've wanted to have you um on the show for a while i've been a big fan of yours had a not so private crush on you for a while <laughs> and uh, that's spread to a lot of my mentees. I've got dozens of mentees that have surpassed me and crushed for you so you've made me a very enviable man uh, today but uh, thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate your You know it's my expertise. pleasure and I love what you do. I love what you stand for. Um, I think the site is amazing and anytime we can increase our, our level, you know, increase our knowledge, increase our personal development, it, it take, takes you to that, it gives you that much more edge and in life sometimes this edge is what does it awesome. and you create that for people and as long as I've known you and we've become friends now <laughs> you um, you serve people you want to serve people you want to help people you want to make a difference and you're always bringing people together what you've done in model squad I mean you're all about giving back and I just think that's awesome it's really powerful so I, anybody watching this like you're in you know good hands having access to this one <laughs> awesome well thanks again and uh, if you guys like what you see please subscribe uh, or leave a comment if you have a question for Alexica, uh, go by all means. I'll, I'll put some links here to her site. And uh, other, other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Buy my music. Take me home with you. <laughs>